Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is good. The Lord is awesome. The Lord is almighty. He has never failed us at any point in time. Hallelujah. He will heal our unbelief. He will heal our faithlessness. In the name of Jesus. That man who came on behalf of his child before God, he said, Oh Lord, have mercy on me and help thou my unbelief. And Jesus answered his request. Jesus will answer your request request today as we have come to intercede for our children say the name papa yadana kili arati na musati lekata ena ha amadi turi amusunto ni turi thank you father thank you jesus ili kuta la papa yade ina kuri amusiki makuri a ina sata na kili amusunto ni zedia ila ya mutunte ina kuri Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Oh, we bless you, Lord. Daddy, we appreciate you. Daddy, we appreciate you. Daddy, we appreciate you. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. All right, we want to appreciate everyone today again. Another opportunity to be in his presence. It's a wonderful thing to be in God's presence. He has told us that he has never asked any one of us to come into his presence in vain. As we have come, he said, where two or three are gathered in his name, there is in their midst. As we have come to gather in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I am believing God that the Lord God Almighty, he will not disappoint you. He will not disappoint me. In the name of Jesus, brethren, just have faith in God. Have faith in God. All he wants from us is just faith. Today, we have come again. We have been spending some time now, for weeks now, interceding on our, uh, on our children. We have been interceding for them. And I'm believing God that the Lord God Almighty, as we have come again to cry unto him concerning our children, none of us will weep over our children. In the name of Amen. Jesus. Whatever well, the enemy has planted over our children, that these our children will cause us pain. Those plants of the enemy today, they are thwarted. In the name Amen. of Jesus. You will not weep over your child. You will not weep over that your daughter. You will not weep Amen. over that your son. In the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. I don't care what the devil has cooked up. But one thing I know is that as long as Jesus died and rose again and ascended to heaven, seated at the right hand side of the almighty God in majesty. That, uh, that's an assurance that that your child that we have been crying unto God for, that your daughter, that your son, definitely, whatever, no matter the depth of iniquity he or she must have gone into, he, will, he or she will bounce back in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Once again, I want to appreciate everyone that have logged in today. Dr. Ajewale, we appreciate you. Thank God you are back. We appreciate you. Thank God for the healing power over your life. We appreciate you. God bless you. I want to appreciate everyone, Sister Biola Olagunju from Nigeria, everyone from US and from Canada. Here in Nigeria, we appreciate you all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And for all that I hear that our children are yet unborn, I congratulate you. Because the best time to pray for, for those children that are still in your womb, in your loins, in your womb, it is now. It is now. It is now. And for us that our children, that we have children that are still young, God bless you too. And for us that we have adult children, it is not too late. Already they are already formed but it is not too late. If we cannot reach them, the Almighty God can reach them. Yes, the Almighty God can reach them. Whatever they are, the Almighty God can reach them. Yes, they're already shaped, but in the sight of God, in the God's, in God's presence, when we bring in God's factor, which we want to do now, God is still able to reshape them. We can no more reshape them, but God is able to reshape them. And God will reshape our children that are already adults, God will reshape them to his own 
purpose in life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Today, my brief uh, ministration, I titled it, Have Mercy on Have My mercy. Children, Part 1. Have yes, mercy yes. on my children, Part 1. Have mercy on my children. And I'm taking my Bible reference from Psalm 102, verse 13. For some days now, the Lord has been ministering to me on this um, scripture for days now. And I've been focusing on it. And by the grace of God, I'm going to use this whenever I come up to minister. I'm going to use Psalm 102, verse 13, because we're going to spend days on this uh, uh, prayer, uh, prayer, prayer for our children. By the grace of God, someone is coming up next week again to also, as the Lord will lead him or her, as the Lord will lead her, to also lead us praying for our children. Our children will be formed in accordance to God's purpose for their life, in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. I will read from King James Version. It says, Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion. For the time to favor her, yea, the set time is come. Permit me to read it from uh, uh, two other translations, the voice and message translation. You will arise, you will rise up once again, that, that, that is uh, the voice translation. You rise up once again and remember your love for Zion. It is time to have mercy on your city. Yes, it is the divinely appointed time. And lastly, the message translation. You will get up from your throne and help Zion. It is time for compassionate help. You will see the reason why I selected these three translations as we go along. My dear parents, and also my dear parents-to-be, we are living in a dangerous age, an age or dispensation that less time is given to that which matters most in the, in the nurturing of our children. Hmm. After investing so much on our children by giving them the basic things of life, for instance, good food, good shelter. We give them good uh, uh, clothing to, to cover their nakedness. We give them, we send them to good schools to acquire sound education. We even go further to give them moral education. But we neglect the aspect of praying. We neglect the aspect of intentional praying for them. I pray God will have mercy on us. Amen. I'm telling you from my little research of most people, most ladies or girls, young ladies, girls that go into immorality, pornographic industry. Some of them, they came from a Christian background. They came from a Christian home. Some of them, they came from, some of them are doctors of, of pastors from my little research. But because this aspect was being neglected and this and the devil took over, yes, they had good education. Some of them are graduates, but they ended up in pornographic industry. Why? Because we fail as parents to play the role God wants us to play. We thought we left everything to the church. We left everything to the school. And we are busy doing what? Running after other things. And here we are. I pray in the name of Jesus that God will have mercy on us and God will forgive us of our neglect over this aspect. Yes, it's good to discipline our child. Yes, the Bible says that spare not the rod. Spare the rod, spoil the child. But do you know that if you depend only not sparing the rod, if you depend only the rod, on the children. From experience, we have come to realize that not only the rod can shape a child. If it was only the rod, someone like me would have been shaped. But the more my father was beating me, the more I was getting worse and worse. The more my father was beating me when I was young, I was a child, I was becoming more hardened. 
to the point that oh don't let me go there because of time but i became i became worse i became worse it was only god who had mercy on me if not by now i should be in the grave look at what uh, paul the apostle says in galatians chapter 4 verse 19 i want to rush this my note because we want to pray galatians 4 19 says I'll, I'll read it from New Living Translation. He said, oh, my dear children, I feel as if I am going through labor pains for you again, and they will continue until Christ is fully developed in your life. Let me take it again gently so that it will sink into our, our it will sink into us deeply. He said, oh, my children, I feel as if I am going through labor pains for you again, and they will continue. The labor pain will continue until Christ is fully developed, is fully formed in your life. Brethren, permit me to make this statement. Until Jesus Christ, until the image of Jesus Christ is formed, is developed in the life of our children, regardless all that all our investment on them, regardless of all that we have given them, moral education, sound education, good food, good shelter, good home, blah, 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 and all those stuff, we will never fully enjoy them. Yes. And the only way that we can achieve this, it is on our knees. It is praying for them because we are living in an, in an age that the devil is going after, is hunting after our seed. Have we forgot what the Bible says in Genesis chapter 3, verse 15? Don't forget. He said, I will put an enemy, an enmity between you and your seed and your seed. It's still happening today. Oh, yes. It's still happening today. It's still happening today. I remember a, a lady, she's an adult now. When she was six years old, her problem was promiscuity. She engaged me. She told me that what she's telling me that she has never told anybody, even her parents. He said that at the age of six, she was raped. Ooh. At the age of six, she was raped. And she tried to get her mother's attention. Mama, mama. The mother would just say, get up, get up with daddy. Don't disturb me. I just came back from work and I'm tired. And that was how she said that she kept to herself. At the age of eight, at the age of eight years old, two men raped her again. And she kept it to herself. And do you know that that spirit of immorality entered into her, made her to be promiscuous. Even though she was a choir, I don't want to mention the name of the church, a mega church here in Nigeria, a mega church, very powerful church. She was a choir. She and the Sunday school teacher, they were having fun. And I asked her how many times, she told me 10 times during that corona, uh, corona, uh, corona virus. Can you imagine? She became promiscuous because of that. She was able to trace it to what happened to her when she was age six years old, at the age, age of six. Brethren, we must pray. If we are not going to lose our children, Paul said, he was talking to, he was referring to his spiritual children. We too can also borrow a leaf from what Paul said. We too, our mothers that are in the house, you understand what it means to, have, to go through labor pain. Yes. He said, I'm going to go through it again until Christ is forming you. He's talking about prayer. That's my belief. We have to pray. After giving them all these things, secular things, we now have to go on our knees to pray till Christ is forming them. When Christ is forming them, then they'll be able to fulfill their destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our Amen. children will fulfill destiny. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In order to intercede for our children, by the grace of God, in, in order to intercede for our children that are born uh, or, and yet unborn, like I said, I congratulate you. You that are yet to have your own babies. You that your children are still in your womb. What kind of children are you even looking for? Hey, my city, now Papa Yade. Some people, instead of them to even pray, all they are praying for is, oh God, give me a child. Oh Lord, give me children. My neighbor has children. Yet I have married for 10 years now, no, no child. Is that the kind of prayer you are praying? 
Why don't you spend use this period to pray? Say, oh Lord, I want a child, a God-fearing child. Specify, describe the kind of child you want. Because Ishmael is a child. Isaac is a child. Do you want, you say you want a child? What type of a child? Be specific. This is the best time that you pray. Lord, not a children, not children that will come and give me pain. Not children that will send me to my early grave. Lord, children that destiny related children. God fearing children. Children that will come and become arrows in my in my hand, in my quiver. Children that will come and do exploit for the Almighty God. Not children like Ishmael, not children like Osama bin Laden, not children like all those uh, uh, you know, dirty people in the world today that are causing havoc. You know, this is the best time to settle with God, not just pray a general prayer. Oh Lord, me too. I want to carry my babies. Mm -mm, what about babies? There are babies and there are babies. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let me quickly read again. Like I say, to it. We have come to intercede for our children that are born and yet unborn. And the Holy Spirit is leading us today to use Psalm 102, verse 13, to pray for them. The prayer I'm going to quote is in that Psalm 102, verse 13. Hallelujah. This is just my part one. Hallelujah. Let me read it again. He said, Thou will arise and have mercy. Thou, referring to the Almighty God, say, You Almighty God, you will arise and have mercy upon Mount Zion for the time to favor her, the time to favor Mount Zion. Yea, even the set time, the designated time has come. Brethren, if you look at that story, uh, sorry, that verse very well, you see that the psalmist there, we don't know who wrote that Psalm 1 and 2. We don't know whether it was King David. Or someone else, but someone wrote that Psalm uh, 102. The psalmist, when he said, Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon my The psalmist had a high level of confidence, has a high level of if you look at that story, uh, if you look at that statement very well, you will see that it was like as if the psalmist was in a place of prayer. He said, Thou will arise, thou will arise. He was in a place of prayer. Do you see the importance of prayer? Even in the Old Testament, they knew the, the importance of prayer. Today, do we also know the important, importance of prayer? Do we know the importance of, the importance of interceding, intercession? Because if you see here, yeah, he was interceding for the city called Zion, the city of Jerusalem. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He said, Thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion. The psalmist had high level of confidence, had high level of trust and faith in his God. To have mercy on Zion. The psalmist before now must have either read about how God showed mercy on Adam and Eve. He must have had, maybe somebody must have given him that story how Adam and Eve, God created them, and along the line, along the line, they went into sin, they fell from grace to disgrace, they fell from glory to shame, and how God came, looked for them. Where are you, Adam? blah 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 and all that and God discovered and the, and you know everything was exposed and what did God do? God had do you know that God had a choice to destroy Adam and Eve because then they were true all of us were still in the in their loins so God had a choice to destroy them and to start all over again but what did he do? The mercy of God. The justice of God will have told him, say, God, why did you, but these people have messed up. Destroy them. And how long? It took only one day. Then use another one day and bring another Adam and Eve that will not mess around. But the mercy of God, which in Hebrew is called Rechem, Rechem. That will not permit me to tell you that next time. But, but the mercy of God said no. The mercy of God moved God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit to shed animal blood as a symbol of the blood of Jesus that will be shed later for the remission of sin, for the taking away of sin. You know? And God used the animal skin to make a covering, to cover the nakedness of Adam and Eve. 
representing the human race. The psalmist in Psalm 1 and 2 must have had this knowledge of God's mercy. God's mercy. That even though Adam and Eve never deserve it, because by, by justice, Adam and Eve was to be killed, was to be destroyed, was to die by the justice of God. Because he said that if you eat it, you disobey me, you are dead. You will die. That was God's justice. But the mercy of God, the mercy of God, the mercy of God went into action. Hallelujah. So he must have had this knowledge about the mercy of God. And that made him to look up to God. And that made him to look at the city of Zion. The city of Zion. The city of Zion, a city that God himself has chosen for his own glory, a city that God had determined and decided to put his presence. He looked at Zion. And as at the time of this Psalm 102, as at the time that this psalmist was crying to God, was in a place of prayer here, Zion was in a mess. Zion was in a place of sorrow. Brethren, there's hope for your child. There's hope for that your son, that your daughter. There's hope for her. There's hope for him. Hallelujah. That your child that you think that hope is lost. No. Look at the psalmist here. As at this time, Zion was in a sorrowful state. Zion was in a bad state. Zion was out of favor with God. Zion was in a mess. Zion was already destroyed by the enemies. Nothing good you could see in Zion. But look at the psalmist. Look at this army. He said, Thou shall arise to have mercy on Zion. Hallelujah. The psalmist had faith in God to come true for Zion. Number one. Number two, he also had faith that Zion will bounce back again. Let me ask you a question. We're going to pray now. Like I said, we are going to pray. Let me ask you a question. Do you have personal faith in God over that your son? Do you have personal faith? Do you have personal faith? Do you believe? Do you have personal faith over in, in God over that your daughter? What's your confidence level in God over your children? Yes. I'm asking you a question. Are you like Pastor Eli in the Old Testament when he was told about the waywardness of his two sons? And he replied, whatever God will do, let him go ahead and do it. Can you imagine? Are you like him? Pastor Eli, who could not stand in the gap to intercede for his two sons when he was told that, look at what your, your sons are doing. He said, whatever God wants to do, let him do. Can you imagine that? And of course, we knew what happened. He lost those two children. He himself went for it. May that not be your portion in the name of Jesus. Amen. Be like this psalmist. Even though Zion was in a state of mess, even though Zion was in a state of waywardness, even though Zion was no hope in Zion. So the, I went through that. My father couldn't believe that I also could become someone like this. But I remember my mother was saying it. He said, ah, Augustine, ah, I cried to God. I cried to God. And I said, Mama, God heard your prayer. And here am I. I bless God. What is your confidence level, brethren, in God? Over that your daughter, over that your son. Let me quickly read Matthew chapter 9, verse 24. Then we'll go into prayer. We are going to pray. One prayer point. Because like I said, we, are, we, are, we, are, we might even use the whole of June... Uh, June, uh, 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 July 2, as the Lord will help us to pray until Christ is formed. That is the goal. Until Christ is formed. When Christ is formed in them, it will be easy for them to fulfill their purpose in life. And when they are fulfilling their purpose in life, even you too, you will be at rest. You know, one day my mother told me, he said, Augustine, it's time for her to go home. That after all, she has seen it all. I said, I love, I said, Mama. He said, Yes, he said, she, she's ready to, to go. <laughs> well, I don't blame her because all our four children are doing well. The first born till the last born, we are all uh, ministers of the gospel and we're having a good marriage. 
godly children. So she said, Austin, I beg, pay one go rest. I said, yeah. Although I didn't agree with Tasha, but I didn't tell her <laughs> inside, my, inside of my heart. But let's read Mark chapter 9, verse 24. And straightway, the father of the child, do you see that? Even in the time of our Lord Jesus Christ, people were coming, both father, mother, they were coming to Jesus on behalf of their children, interceding for their children. Brethren, we should not neglect this aspect of nurturing. It's part of nurturing our children, not just only giving them good education, not only just giving them good home, not only just, not only just giving them good food. This one too is the cocoa of the matter. Is the cocoa of the matter. Is the domain domain. He said, and straight away the father of the child cried out and said, with tears, with tears, Lord, I believe, help thou my unbelief. Look at the father. He cried. He said, Jesus, with tears. Do you know that that was a sign of mercy, crying for mercy? He was crying for mercy. Hallelujah. He was crying for mercy that, that Jesus should increase his level of confidence in him to heal his son. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. One prayer point, and then we'll round up. Then we'll continue next week. By the grace of God, I want to encourage us, next week, do not, do not fail to come. Because someone is coming next week again to hit us, to lead us in this, in this you know, to lead us in praying, in interceding for our children. Another uh, woman of God. Hallelujah. One prayer point, and I'll take it, and I want us to, move, to unmute ourselves. If your area is not noisy, this is a prayer point. Father, in your mercy, increase my confidence level in you over my children. Mention the name of your children. Do not give hope on them. God is still able to transform that your son. God is still able to transform that your daughter. It is not yet over until God says it is over. And God has the last say, not the devil. Okay, the la papaya. And if your child, if you see your child moving in the right path, it is also better for you to pray that he will remain in that path because anything can happen. Anything can happen. Because the devil is not sleeping. He said that we are told, already we have been given an, uh, an insight of how devil operates. He said, this devil, this devil, like a riding like right lion, walked up and down, up and down, up and down, not resting. To do what? To make sure that that your son, that your daughter, that you now is, is, is going, yeah, 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 to bring him down, to bring her down. And that is why you, as the pa uh, we as the parents, we must not relent our effort to make sure that they remain on that path to their destiny. Hallelujah. It is then that God will reward you, God will reward me. And we receive that word of commendation. And I pray in the name of Jesus that you are going to receive a word of commendation on that day. That well done, my servant. I gave you two children. And those two children, you brought them up. Yes, you brought them up. The way I wanted them to be brought up. You not be like that one that went to hide, that went to bury that one talent. Maybe your one child that you have, that's your one talent. You are burying it. But not praying for them. You are burying it. And when that child now becomes wayward, you're not beginning to put the blame on one wish. No, there's no wish anywhere. I'm not saying that there's no wish, but I'm saying that you open the door for that wish to enter. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Likata Ramu Santa. So we're going to pray. One prayer point, and we shut down. Please, spend time and pray this prayer point. Lord, in your mercy, increase my confidence level. Increase my confidence level. Just as that psalmist had a high level of confidence in God over Zion. Your own Zion is, is that your son. Your own Zion is that your daughter. Eliaba Santa Laba. And it is time for God to arise and show mercy. Have mercy on that your son. Have mercy on that your daughter. Whatever sickness the enemy has put on your daughter, on your son, the Lord Almighty is able by his mercy to remove that ailment. Whatever delay to a marriage, that's what we're talking about. You need to pray. You need to pray. 
you need to pray. Your children, some of them are even high playing. They don't know what to do about life. Life is hitting them. But you, you have gone through it. What they're about to go through or they are going through. And, go, and the Lord has helped us. So we need to stand in their gap. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We are going to pray right now. I believe you have gotten the message. By the grace of God, we are continuing. Father, in your mercy, unmute yourself, please, so that I can hear your voice. I can hear your voice. Father, in your mercy, increase my confidence level in you. Increase my confidence level in you over my children. Now, it is to pray for your children. Don't focus on other people's children. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good. At the detriment of your own, of your own children. Don't be like uh, Prophet Samuel. Prophet Samuel was busy, 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 but his children became wayward. That was why the children of Israel asked, were asking for the king. And so busy with uh, taking care of other children, make sure that your own children at home too, they have been taken care of. So now we want to focus on our children. Mention their names. Mention their names. Mention their names. Oh yeah, prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I cry to you, Father. Like this man came on behalf of his child and cried to you. Oh, Father, cry to you, say, Lord Jesus, help thou my unbelief. Oh, my Father, meaning that, that, that you should increase his confidence level over his child and concern his child that he brought for healing. Therefore, Father in heaven, I bring my daughter before you today, precious Jesus, Lord God Almighty, I cry to you, Oh, my Father, increase my level of confidence, oh Lord, in you, just as this summit had that high level of confidence over in you concerning Zion, concerning the city that you have chosen for yourself, concerning Zion, concerning the devastated state of Zion. Oh, my Lord and my God, Raposa, believing that you are able to turn Zion around. Once again, oh, he said, Arise, oh, arise. He said, That will arise, that will arise. Say, you will surely arise, Father in heaven. I know that you too, you are going to, you are going to arise over my daughter, you are going to arise over pressure. This better and show her mercy where she is in Ireland. By looking around here, Father, the, the level of confidence that I need to have in you, Father Baba, for you to do that which I desire, for you to do that, for you to do that which I desire concerning. <laughs> Concerning pressure, just to damn Lola, Father, give me that grace, oh Lord, Father, Father, for my faith, oh Lord, to increase for the level of my confidence in you, for the level of my trust in you, Father. That personal faith in you, Father, you are okay, that will push, that will move me to go on my knees to pray her until Christ is formed in her. Oh, Yania Parande, Siglipuda, so take. Father, Remove every form of unbelief, Father, Baba. Oh, Lord, Father. Every form of unbelief. Not to trust you enough, Father. Concerning precious, Father. Concerning, oh, Lord, my daughter, precious. Not to trust you enough. Father, remove, remove it from my life. In the name of Jesus. Father, I bring all this, my brethren, before you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Brethren, time will not permit us to 
to go beyond this. But I just want to pray for every one of us, especially our children. Like I said, we are focusing on our children because our children must not miss it. Our children must not miss it. The Amen. best time to pray for them, it is now. Yes. yes. Had it been our parents did what we are doing now, and I'm telling you, our life would have been better than this. Oh, yes. If our parents had spent time, if they, have, if they had prayed, if they had labored like a woman in a labor pain, if they had prayed for us to, oh my God, oh, I pray for each and every one of us. May God forgive us of our prayerlessness over our children. In the yes. name of Jesus, may yes. God have mercy on us that we fail to play this part. We have given them good education. We have invested on them, spending thousands of dollars over them, sending them to good schools and giving them shelter and food and everything. But this aspect of praying them to the point of Christ Jesus being formed in them, according to Galatians 4, 4, 4 19, we have failed. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive us. Lord, forgive us. Lord, mm -hmm. show us that we need your mercy. Oh, remove selepo tola papayada. Even that child that we are looking at, that you, our son, that that problem that is happening, and and we don't have that faith enough yes. in you to believe you that you can transform. But this psalmist, we saw that this psalmist had that faith in you that even Zion, Zion, Zion can can be restored back again to his glory. Father in heaven, Lord, we come to you as parents. Father, have mercy on us. Heal our unbelief, oh Lord. Heal our unbelief. Remove this unbelief from us, Father. That person, that not able to trust you enough, not able to trust you enough to, de to deal with that son, to deal with that son that gives us pain. To deal with that our daughter that gave us pain, not able to trust you enough that you can still transform that be that our daughter's life, that you can still that you can still transform that our son's life. Father, forgive us of this mistrust in you. In the name of Jesus, we believe for other people, but when it comes to our, our own children, our faith is so shaky, our faith is so is so down. Oh, yeah, but today, Father, we are rising up. We are rising up because we believe. We say like the psalmist. You will arise, you will arise to have mercy on the children of Baba, Godilia, in the name of Jesus. You will arise, mm -hmm. oh Lord, you will arise in your mercy and have mercy of, upon the children of Elder Mata, in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Father, we believe, oh Lord, that you are going to arise, oh Lord, in your mercy and show mercy and show mercy. Because we believe, we believe, we believe that you will arise because you did it for Adam. Even when Adam did not pray, Eve did not pray. They were sick. Adam was playing um, um, blame game. And yet, out of mercy, mercy moved you. You did not allow justice to move you. Oh, justice says condemn them, destroy them. But mercy said no. Mercy said no. Oh, my career in career. And you made a way out for Adam and Eve. If you could do that, then we also what we believe. And we know that you are going to arise. You are going to arise over the son of Melena in the name of Jesus. Father, we are going to arise over the children, over the children of Sister Bolanle, over her children. We are going to arise and show them mercy in the name of Jesus. We are going to arise, Father, over the daughter of Deborah. We are going to arise. Yes, we know. You will arise, that daughter. You will arise and show her mercy in the name of Jesus. Yes. You are going to arise over the, the children, the, the children of Dr. Ajewale. You will arise and show them mercy. You will arise and show them mercy. You have done it before. You did it for, 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 for Abraham. When Abraham went astray, went astray in Egypt, you are you arose and you fought for him and you brought him out. Oh, yeah. If you could do that, Father, we too we believe. We believe, oh, we believe that you will arise over all our children. You will arise and show mercy over our children. Therefore, Father, we pray today, Lord, begin to increase our level of confidence in you. Begin to increase our level of trust in you concerning all our children in the name of Jesus. We refuse any of our child to be a victim of the devil. We refuse any of our child to follow the dictates of the devil in the name of yes. Jesus, as it is written, as, as it is written, 
the son of man goeth, as it, as it is written of him. That is what will be said of over our children. None of our children will go as it is written of them by the devil in the name of Jesus. They will not mm. listen to the devil. They will not go in the way of the devil in the name of Jesus. Our daughter will not end up in the pornographic industry in the name mm. of Jesus. Our children will not miss it in life in the name of Jesus. Look at mm. our sons and our daughters, they will be mighty, they will be pillars in, 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 in God's presence. They will be great. They will be greater than us in the name of Jesus. Where we will mm -hmm. be in life as for achievement, our children, they will, they will excel it. They will excel it a thousand times, a million times in the name of Jesus. Father, remember mm -hmm. what you said. You said that you will do what we say and everything that we have seen. I am saying it on behalf of all of us that are here and, of, and, and those that will come and listen to this um, um, uh, administration via our YouTube channel. I pray, Father, for those that are trusting in you, Father, for their own babies that are still, that are still with you. Right now, Lord, I pray, Father, that these are our people. The devil will not tamper with their children while in the, while in the womb. In the name of Jesus. These yes, are amen. our brethren. These are our sisters that are trusting in you, oh Lord, for their own babies. Father, I pray. You will not give them babies like, like Esau in the name of Jesus. You will not give them babies like Ishmael in the name of Jesus. You will give them babies that are God-fearing, babies that know that will come to know you, babies that at their tender age, at the age of six, at the age of nine, they are already knowing you. They are already following the past. Our Lord Jesus Christ, at the age of 12, he has already known the, the will of of God for his life. Even so, but by these ones, Father, as they are still praying, Father, for them to be conceived, I pray the seed that will be produced in them will be seed that at the age of six, at the age of nine, at the age of twelve, they must have known you in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Father, we say thank you. Thank you. Lord, we say thank you. Hallelujah. Daddy, we say thank you. Thank I want you. us to see this opportunity in, in the next few minutes or one minute or so. Let's pray for our sister. Who is here? Uh, let's pray that the Lord God Almighty, one of our, our daughters, is having some is health issue. I want us to pray and for anyone that have that our any of our children that are having health issue. Let's pray that the mercy of God will will flow out. I don't care whatever what have happened doesn't matter. It is of the devil. The Bible says that when men slept, the enemy did this. Uh -huh. God does not give sickness. Now, devil, they give sickness. So we are going to pray that the Lord will touch the follower, that the Lord will touch that area of her life that is causing the parents pain, that the Lord will touch, the Lord will touch it. The mercy of God will touch it and get rid of it. Shall we begin to pray right now? And for other children. Lord, I pray, Father, for the follower and be able to have a soul to and other children that are having any uh, uh, health issue. Oh, let your mercy, Father, your mercy, your reckon, your reckon, your wing emotion, Father. Father, I command that ailment to go right now. Wherever that wherever that deposit is hidden in our body, in our body, let the mercy of God hit it right now. The mercy of God soak with the anointing and the mercy of God soak with the fire of the Holy Ghost to go right now and hit it and get rid of it. In the name of Jesus, you matali kara ena sondoa, you matari kara ena sondoa. Father in heaven, you did not greater, Father, with that ailment, you did not. Therefore, Lord, wherever that, where right. it came from, let it go back from that place and get out of the body of this people that your name might be glorified in our life. In the name of Jesus, and we pray for any other then, oh Lord Father, that are having any health issue, whatever it is, any deformity, whether in the brain or in any part of the body, from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. I pray right now that the mercy of God, the mercy of God, will move right now and into those areas and get rid of those deformity from that body in the name of Jesus and make them whole because Jesus, Jesus.
Jesus has already paid the price. The blood of Jesus has been shed already. Therefore, Father, let mercy now begin to move, 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 and get rid of that infirmity from that body in the name of Jesus. Father, we say thank you. Baba, we say thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Father, we say thank you. Father, we say thank you. Father, everyone that at the sound of my voice, mercy will work for us. Amen. In mercy. Amen. Where justice is saying that no, that person must die. This this must happen. But let mercy say no in the name mm. of Jesus. Let mm. mercy say no. Because when we talk about mercy, mercy shows that we do not deserve what we are asking for. That is why yes. we are trying for mercy today. Father, let mercy show up, oh Lord, on our behalf Hallelujah. and fight for us and bring us to where we belong in the name of mm. Jesus. Amen. Father, we say thank you. Thank in you. Jesus' mighty name, we have praise. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Amen. Jesus. Thank you. All right, brethren, this is how far we can go by the grace of God. Brethren, we are devoting time now to pray for our children. We will continue to pray. It. And our brethren, and I want you to trust God. Remember today, what we have established today is develop your level of confidence in God concerning all your children. All your children. None of them, none of them will become a victim of the devil in life. They will Amen. all end up in Christ. Christ will be formed in them. And that is what is going to happen. That's our goal. And we shall achieve it on this platform. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I want to encourage us. The three series that Pastor Shua Imo Margaret had with us on Monday, please try and listen to, to, to those three messages. Apply them to your children. That's to do with pathway to destiny. Honestly, if you can listen to them and you pray them into your life of your children, you see your children co coming out in glory. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. All right. We call it a day today. Till next week, when we shall have a wonderful sister, man, uh, woman of God, who will be coming up again, still on this line of interceding for our children. Hallelujah. Our children are blessed, honestly. That we parents can devote a whole one hour praying for them. They are blessed. And they will be blessed. They will remain blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank Amen. you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank Amen. you, Jesus. Hallelujah.